Pussy, I ain't not ready for the wham Energy's war, I've never been glam Energy's sure like bars will land Like a missile straight to the plan Energy's more than everything, man Energy's mad, don't mess with a ram Certain things in life gotta overstand That's disappointing, don't do this, man With your energy, yeah, can't do this, man Energy's here like a sizzling pan Four meetings already is urgent, fam If the energy's right, we can do this, man If the energy's right, we can do this, man Too fast, two two constellation and stars, two two laughs, two two hearts. Out of this world is straight off the mars. Said two two bars, flows too fast, two two constellation and stars, two two laughs, two two hearts. Out of this world and straight off the mars. When the energy's right, I follow the path. Gotta know yourself. There's no one to ask, no one to turn to. Take off your mask. Don't worry, there's no test to pass. Just live, stop taking, just learn to give, stop blaming them and learn to forgive. I'll carry on doing my thing. I'll carry on doing my thing till we turn into a myth. But I got a cart just because. <laughs> what time is it? It is 9.21. I need to go to Target too before they close because since I got a bank card, I can finally go what I need. Ah, oh, they got exactly what I was looking for, y'all. This is what I was looking for. And I'm gonna get four of these. And then I like the chicken masala too. That is literally all I came in here for. So now I'm about to go to Target before they collect. <laughs> of course, they don't have them. They will be right there. I'll make my oatmeal at work. They have a lot of different ones, but y'all know how deep my oatmeal be. Kind of, this be a lot. Probably something like this. Now that's too small. Um, don't look at my toesies. Something like, yeah, this is perfect. I think. Yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna get these. I'm looking for my Think protein bars. See, this is why you can't go to different locations. They don't even have them. Ooh, look at my hair, y'all. Oh, they do. They at the bottom. So glad I just walked past this aisle. I forgot I ran out of this this morning.
up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Priya aka Priya Simone right now I am actually going through it and the reasoning is because this little piece I don't know what this piece is it's like a little black piece just fell from my camera where the battery compartment is and now the battery compartment does not stay closed so somehow it has like a clicker thing to like hold the battery in place, but the flap is just hanging and I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and look up what the warranty is on this on this camera. Honestly, I just bought this camera four months ago. I don't think I bought an extended warranty. I bought it off Best Buy. So I know that like new items come with some type of warranty. That's usually how it is. So I'm gonna have to look that up because at this point I'm irritated. <laughs> but anyway. It is actually 9.14 p.m. and it is Saturday. So I am actually about to take my hair down because I'm going out of town this Friday. So I'm gonna actually take my hair down with y'all, talk to y'all a little bit, let y'all know what's going on. And kind of want to touch base in the beginning of the vlog. I did like my regular, you know, workouts, but I am starting to go to the gym at 5 a.m. workouts, I would say. I wake up at four, but okay, I guess 4.45-ish or so. So I honestly want to tell you guys about how that's been and how that has, you know, benefited me in so many ways. But I do want to start off by taking my hair down because, y'all, a mess, a mess is not even the word. My hair has definitely lasted a long time, but I feel like it did start getting bad way before the time that it usually does because I actually did my hair what day? I did my hair on May 4th. And right now it is June 8th and it definitely could have been better. So I use this edge control. It's nothing in there, it's just the top, but this is the cream of nature, the extra hold one. And then I do use my edge booster. But y'all, instead of the cream of nature, I use this. And this does not do any hold. So that's why I think that my hair puffed up way faster than normal because it last it but it did not last as long as it should so that's kind of why i don't ever change my products like i just can't but let me kind of adjust everything i really hope that the lighting is okay because i have so many lights but i don't want to use too many lights to get washed out so like i said um kind of what encouraged me to start going to the gym in the morning opposed to at night is because i just feel like when i go at night my entire day is gone I'm definitely gonna have to clip this back. I don't know why this is not staying up. I work seven to six every single day. I wake up at five on a normal day and then I just go get ready and I, you know, go to work. Even though my alarm goes off at five, I don't get out the bed till like 5.30 or 5.45 to be real. When I get off work, this is my schedule. Six o'clock, I clock out. My gym is like five minutes away from my job. So I pull up to the gym, drink a Celsius or an Alani, whatever type of drink, pre-workout, whatever I decide to drink that day. And then I go into the gym. So I actually physically walk into the gym at like six. I hope this is not crooked, but I do. Ugh. I physically walk in the gym at around like, I would say 620, 625. And then I have a gym bag. So I bring my stuff to the gym. So then I have to go into the gym bathroom change my clothes i usually always use the bathroom first and then i like change my clothes so i don't really start working out until like 6 45 and then at that point i don't leave the gym until like eight o'clock <laughs> i live at that point about 20 minutes away from the gym so now <laughs> i have to drive home so by the time i get home sometimes i either stop to get something from the store so because i'm by like a super target and everything depending on what how i feel sometimes i'll stop by the store if I don't stop by the store, I'll go straight home. Now, this is the thing. Since I do everything right away, since I go to work, go to gym, have no break, every time I get home, I sit in my car. If I wanted to, I can literally sit in there for an hour. And it's happened so many times. So, a lot of the time, I don't get in the house until like damn near 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And then I do try to get... I'm sorry if it's loud. That's the ice maker, but... I do try to be asleep by 11 and think about it. I have to shower. 
I have to get myself together. And then by that time, there's no time to myself. I got to get right in the bed and do it all over again. Just me waking up one extra hour early at four o'clock and going to the gym has honestly saved me about four hours at the end of the day. I wake up at 4 a.m. The night before, I pre-pack my lunch for work because I always take a lunch. I now make my oatmeal at work. I just bring all the ingredients and then I keep like the peanut butter and everything at my job in my desk so that I can still have it. So a lot of the ingredients for my oatmeal is actually at work. I just bought like a separate couple ingredients just to have at my desk because oatmeal is super quick to make and it's not, I could eat that at my desk, it's just oatmeal. So the night before I'll just pack up my lunch, which takes no time. And then, you know, shower, do my regular routine, I get in the bed. Waking up at four o'clock, all I do is I literally brush my teeth and then grab my bag and my lunch and then I go straight to the gym. By the time I get to the gym, I would say it is about like 4.30, 4.35. And then I will honestly start working at like 4.45 or so because sometimes I don't get straight up my car because clearly I just woke up. But you guys, the one thing I do not do now is I do not drink pre-workout. If I get the proper sleep, I have to be asleep at like 10 o'clock though in order to feel good though. I'm not going to lie because the first night I went to sleep a little bit later than 10 and when I got up and went to the gym, y'all, I was not feeling. I had a headache. I was in a terrible mood. I was like, I am not about to do this. But then I did talk to my boyfriend. He told me that I should go to sleep at a certain time because he does the same thing. He goes to workouts in the morning. So after listening to him, that kind of helped out and it's been way better. And it's just a better feeling not waking up not having to drink a Celsius and a Lani or anything like that because I kind of feel like I've been dependent on those and I don't like it. I haven't had an Alani or a Celsius in about five days or so and I really like that. I stopped working out at like I would say six o'clock. That's as late as I can work out because I shower there and I get ready and I go straight to work. My gym is five minutes away from my job. I don't have time to sit on my phone. I don't have I don't have time to I don't have to change my clothes. I don't have to drink a Celsius and let it kick in. Everything is kind of like back to back to back to back in the morning. So it saves me a lot of time. And also, I just feel so much better because when I was on a weight loss journey like three years ago, y'all, I used to work out in the morning and I used to feel so much better working out in the morning than after work because, you know, I have the most energy kind of, you know, I just woke up because I didn't work a full shift and I don't have to depend on pre-workout or energy drink to make me feel good. So all in all, I like it so far. I don't do it on the weekends though. I don't usually go to the gym on Saturday. I actually like it a lot. Like I'm not gonna lie. So that's definitely gonna be something that I am gonna keep doing. It, I might miss some days, but for the most part, it's definitely something that has honestly changed for, you know, I know I'm not like a pro at it yet, but it's definitely changed my life for the better because I feel like I got a lot of my time back because I spent a lot of time at work. It's not gonna be an everyday thing because of the schedule with my daughter too, so sometimes I can't, but you know, for the most part, I can't. Anyway, 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 I hope you guys are doing well, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. I have a couple things planned for this vlog. I do have to do some preparation because I am going to Houston this Friday, it is Saturday, and I went back and forth, y'all. I was gonna straighten my hair because every time I go to Houston, I always straighten my hair. Because I can wear my hair straight in Houston. I cannot wear my straight hair straight in Florida. Florida is like humid. Houston is like not. It's hot as hell, but it's not like humid. So it usually can last. And honestly, I only straighten my hair to clip my ends. And I haven't clipped my ends in a minute because I got addicted to clipping my ends, y'all. And I was clipping them every single time I did my hair. And I do my hair like every five weeks. So, you know, I stopped doing that a couple months ago. But I just feel like it may be time. I don't know. So as far as the update on my nail, my nail, it is way better. I still do not get that acrylic off. So it's just grown out. So I know that they can pry that off and put on a new set. I want to do these same exact nails when I go to Houston. Same color and everything. I'm not going to do nothing crazy. As far as my toes, I'm going to just get a regular French because I have this same color on my toes right now. But since I'm gonna be in like heels and stuff, I don't want my toes being nude in my heels. Like they gotta at least show a little bit. <laughs> you guys are just gonna follow me. I am so sad y'all. I feel terrible because my daughter is going on her first road trip tomorrow with my mom and they're gonna be gone for a week a whole week so i leave friday and usually my mom takes me to the airport so now i'm either going to drive or i'm going to take an uber and the airport that i'm going to i live a little bit of a minute away from it so i gotta figure that out but y'all i am so sad because it's good for my daughter they're going to see my sister my sister lives in dc i don't know if i ever told you guys i do have a sister we're two years apart she don't see my daughter like that probably like once a year if that 
So they're going out there to see her. It was a last minute trip and I already planned the trip to Houston and bought that ticket months ago. So I'm not going, but it's gonna be good for my daughter because she gets to, you know, leave the state and also she gets to see her Auntie Kai. So I'm excited for that, but I'm sad because like, it's just, y'all, I don't know if y'all know, like when you a mom, any time that you are away from your daughter, you feel terrible. Like, it be making me feel like the worst person ever. Like, a terrible parent. I don't know what it is. But I know she's going to be okay because she's going to be with my mom. But it's like, girl, I don't be sad. I did her hair today. I do braids in her hair or twists, depending on how I feel. But she has her braids back. I redid them for her. And I'm just excited for her to see a new city and be in a new space. But I'm also sad because I leave for the day that she comes back. Actually, they come back Saturday, so I'm already be gone. And then I'm not going to be able to see her until I fly back on Monday. I'm going to just stop talking now. I just kind of wanted to explain a couple things. Let y'all know what this vlog consists of. I'm about to just continue to take my hair down. And then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not going to wash it tonight. I usually will wash it the same time I take it down. But honestly, I don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to wake up in the morning tomorrow. And then I'm going to wash it. And then I'm going to put it in plaits. Monday, since that day, I'm going to be by myself because my... Daughter actually leaves Monday morning at like 3 a.m. That's when they're going to start driving. That's the day I'm going to actually do my hair because I need like my undivided attention. Like nobody else's attention. I need my own space. I cannot be bothered. And like my daughter, I hate not giving her attention when I'm doing my hair. So she's not going to be here. So I'm going to pick money to do my hair. I'm done talking. I've been talking forever. And I'm going to just finish taking out my hair. And I'm about to go upstairs and go to sleep. or so i'm probably lying because it's 10 33 i don't remember when i started but you guys probably do but right now i'm about to actually go and lay down i am tired my daughter has been asleep since before i even started filming this i'm actually about to go to sleep and y'all i'm so upset like let me see if i could show y'all right quick do y'all see how this part does not stay up now like what is going on don't mind my camera it's kind of oily because my hands are oily that needs to get fixed so i'm gonna look i bought it from best buy but i bought it online so i'm honestly gonna look and see what the warranty is and see how to go about that because y'all i'm gonna be pissed off about that like why it took like two drops for that to happen too so that's very annoying but you guys, I'm about to go to sleep and I'm about to go with my daughter because she's actually asleep in my bed because she went to sleep earlier. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. She got her little scarf on. She is knocked out. She stay knocked out in my bed. See how long her hair is, y'all? And it's in the ponytail. What is up, you guys? So it is actually two days later from the beginning of the vlog. I actually just got done doing my hair. As you can see, it's actually eating. I did it a little bit different. Um, I did incorporate more braids. And I'm going to kind of show y'all anyway when I take my hat off. Hat. My scarf. Because I'm going to Houston. So I have to do my hair today. My daughter is gone. My mom and daughter went to D.C. Um, to see my sister. So now 
I gotta babysit her dog. It only took five hours to do my hair, which is kind of crazy that it took less time, um, considering the fact that I did incorporate more braids. But I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, my hair is eating. It is eating, but it's setting because every time I do my hair, I always put my scarf on. And, but yeah, I'm about to actually go get me something to eat, run a couple errands because I'm actually going to Houston. Today is Monday. I did not have to work today. I go to Houston on Friday. So I honestly want to go to TJ Maxx to see if I can find like a carry-on luggage. Don't mind the table. I did my hair down here. So it's like all my stuff is still on there. Um, I never bring a carry-on, but I honestly want to. I'm gonna be out there from Friday to Monday. So I can like, I don't have to bring too much. But also TJ Maxx, y'all, if y'all like affordable, good, quality jewelry tj maxx is where i always go so i'm gonna go there too to see if i can find some more like um necklaces and stuff like that and also i want to go to bath and body works because i actually went there i don't go there y'all i went there for the first time in like years i think a couple days ago and i bought this iced lemon i don't even wear stuff like that i wear like clean scents or mature scents it's just the sweetest smell it smells like cookies like a lemon cookie it smells so good and i got it and i got the shea butter lotion and the spray for only nine dollars i think that's all i need to go i just wanted to do something for the end of the day i'm by myself unfortunately i don't want to be on the house because i'm gonna be in my feelings because my daughter left this morning i go to work tomorrow and then i gotta go to work on wednesday thursday and then i don't go friday so yeah um yeah i already fed her dog and walked him so now all i have to do y'all is just get in the car and y'all i showed y'all how my laptop not my laptop i showed y'all how my um, i showed y'all how my camera is like broke <laughs> like where the battery is so i'm very upset about that so i'm gonna tape it i can still use it though i don't want that little like clip to break do i got everything do i got everything do i got everything do i got everything yeah i got everything i'll be having to make sure that i got my keys I got locked out before. Don't get me started on this car, y'all. Do not get me started on my car. Don't get me started. I'm not going to talk about it because I'm going to be getting mad. So I'm not even going to talk about it. I usually have my headphones. I have no idea where my headphones are. Cause I usually put like at least one earbud in my ear. I really wish they had like baskets in here so I don't have to get like a cart. You know, TJ Maxx be having some really cute purses. I do not see their luggages at all. Unless they're like sold out. They usually be right here, so I'm confused. <laughs> Why are my pants falling down? I don't It's not getting. Like, why are my pants sliding down? I don't know why I like this. I don't know why. I feel like a lot of places always got more gold than silver. I don't know why. I want some cute cherry earrings. Ugh, bad. I really like this necklace. Yeah, I'm not really feeling a lot of this stuff. They got a whole bunch of like gold stuff. <sighs> what is a carry-on size? I've never bought a carry-on a day in my life. Found one. I did end up getting that uh, carry-on because the zipper was broken. <laughs> and that was the only cute one that they had. So I didn't get it. So I'm kind of frustrated, but oh well. I'm about to go to Mod Pizza because... Not my pizza, but I get the salads from there, y'all, and they're so good. They're not closed yet, so I'm going to go there before they close. Hopefully, y'all not too zoomed in. I hope not, but I do have a light, but I'm not going to turn that on because I really don't want to, but they didn't have too many jewelry options. They had a lot of cute ones. Y'all know, if y'all don't know, let me fix the camera because I don't like the way that it's zoomed in. Give me a second. Don't know if the angle changed or not, but... Only thing I got from TJ Maxx are these scrunchies. These are the ones that I use. They don't have like the metal on them and they don't pull out my hair at all when I like rip them out or whatever. I got a smaller makeup bag because I have a folded one, the one that I always bring when I travel. 
I cannot stand those like fake cops. Like if you don't go and make that left, I just got pulled up the other day. But no, um, this is a smaller makeup bag because I don't always have to bring all my makeup because I never wear it. I got these really pretty scrunchies. These scrunchies are so cute. They like different ones, but they like different designs. And I think it's by a black woman. Yeah, well, she's a Afro-Caribbean Latina. The only silver piece of jewelry that they actually had that was decent to me was this. I showed you guys. It just says 222 on there. They just turned their lights on. Thank God, because my lighting was not the best. It just says 222 on there, y'all. Do not mind my nails. I'm getting them done. You know, like the angel numbers, because, you know, people get 444, 111, 222. It says angel numbers are number sequences that offer guidance and hold messages from divine i honestly i was just looking at this the other day and i need to get a new case on my phone this case i'm so tired of it and then my daughter put a sticker on there and i've been trying to get the rest of the sticker off like girl let me not talk about her i'm gonna start crying because she's not around but well she's around she's just not out here she's in dc Two two two. Trust and patience. When we encounter angel number two two two, our angels are urging us to maintain trust and patience in the process manif of manifesting our desires. Good things are coming our way, and we need to stay positive and patient for them to materialize. I should put it on right now because, like, that just spoke to me. But yeah, so that's all I really got uh, from TJ Maxx. Now I'm actually about to go. I was gonna go to Bath and Body Works, but they are closed. I have to get a wax. Um, and I have to get a wax because, y'all, I got a wax, like, seven weeks ago. I think eight weeks ago. And I usually only get a wax before I go see my man. But I'm overlapping and my cycle actually starts the day I'm supposed to travel out there, It's supposedly. So I cannot wait too much longer. It has to go. It has to go. So I'm going to get a wax tomorrow or Wednesday. Then I'm going to get my nails done. And I'm going to re-get the same exact color, same shape. And that's all I got to do. You know, my hair is always the biggest thing. So once my hair is done, y'all, I don't have to do nothing else. I don't have to worry about anything else. So it's just my wax, my nails, and then I got to pack. And that's it. babysitting my mom's dog and he is all the way where is he down there loki uh, like what is he doing this is how far i am okay so he's all the way over there and this is how far that i am so what i'm about to do there he go because i'm about to walk off he know how to get home like what is he doing it look like he fighting. It look like he getting beat up. Like, you know when somebody getting beat up and they on the bottom? That's what it look like he doing. Like, he's trying to fight back. For my toes, I did get the... There he go. Look at him. Come here. What's wrong with you? And now you out of breath. And I don't even know what you've been wrong. Look at you. Come here. Sit down. But I was saying that I got the the same new color on my nails as a base for my French. And I just like experimented. I asked them to add the, to add the white. And I honestly, I really like it. So, one out of five. That was one out of five. Okay. So it is currently eight o'clock exactly. And it is Thursday. I actually leave. My flight takes off at 5.30 tomorrow in the morning. So that means I have to leave here at around 3.20. Does it really? No, but my friend booked my Uber for 320 because she knows I always miss flights. And I usually just go ahead and get the next flight after that, but we're all trying to, well, we're both trying to get there around the same time so uh, that she could pick us up from the airport together because we're flying out from two different airports, two different states. So I'm going to be at the airport on time, unfortunately, because like y'all, I've looked with Southwest. So usually like if I miss my flight, 
I will literally just get the next flight. But anyway, do not mind the back. You could probably see my bed is not made because I have my fresh sheets and comforter that I'm gonna put on but I also my bed is not made those are all my clothes that need to be put into the luggage because I folded and picked out what I'm gonna bring but I didn't put nothing in the luggage yet so right now though I do this every time I leave I let my eyebrows grow out until I go out of town and so I, since I go out of town every month I do my eyebrows every month so only once a month and I don't wax them I don't thread them nothing so I kind of wanted to show you guys what I do because it's about that time I'm gonna just show y'all a close-up as you can see, like, I got a little bit of a unibrow. Definitely got some hairs. You see there's a lot of hairs right there. So, I just brushed them up first. I'm going to just show y'all. I'm not going to do no talking. I'm going to just show y'all. Because it's not no tutorial. This is just how I do my eyebrows. kind of can tell not really because i think my eyebrows are they all right they look decent but they look better when i got them like you know gel down y'all know i don't fill out my eyebrows y'all know i don't fill in my eyebrows i just put edge control on my eyebrows so i got curly brows but they straighten down when i put the edge control on so i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye right quick and i turned off one of my lights because i'm using this mirror that i bought in my last vlog and the light is so bright sure of why that just literally just recording that one part just irritated me bad like so these are my eyebrows now I think that they're okay let me just do some touch-ups you I really never know how they look until I like gel them down but I'm not about to do that because I'm about to actually put on a face mask after this too I wanted to do everything that involved me like shaving my face or everything before I went and put that face mask on. My friends are in a group chat right now. But next thing I do is I cut or trim my edges and I do it every single time that I do my hair. Y'all, this is my hair. I did my hair about five days ago, but I did my hair a little bit different. So I do currently have more braids and it took me less time. I'm gonna twist it up because y'all know I, I like some type of you know, like wave or so to it. So it's not going to look like this, but instead of doing the three braids to the back, I actually did rows going down. So I have one row. I have a row right here. I have a row right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then I have a row right here. And then I have the top. So I guess I got four rows and I got like individuals like going down so that they can sit more in my face because at first I was a pull back type of girl but now see like now I kind of like it in my face. I only lay my edges for the first time like the day before I go out of town every single time. Alright so this is kind of I'm going to show y'all what I do so 
I'm gonna pin my hair back. This is what I do, and it's not as dramatic as it sounds, to be honest, because it's really just not. If the lighting keeps changing, it's because I'm trying to figure out what kind of lighting I want because I look rough and I really don't like that. do not look as long as they usually look after like a month i might not have to cut my edges y'all what y'all think this area right here is kind of bothering me because it's too much ouch i mean it's not too bad this side might have to get cut a little bit because y'all i have edges i do not call these baby hairs because they is not baby hairs but like I don't like how it swoops and kind of like pops up and like pops up right there. So I just be cutting like the smallest amount off. But just so that it's just not too much. But usually y'all, I promise y'all, it'd be so much more that I'd be having to cut because I don't know. It's not that much going on. <laughs> but also I don't have as much edges out, I think, especially on this side. I don't have as much edges out. You see how that's kind of like curling up? It's definitely cute, but I just cut the smallest amount off. Then I re curl it. And then I just re swoop it just to see if that's how I like it. And I think that that's nice. I don't think that that's bad. Hey, baby, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. What's she doing? Uh, fixing my hair. Oh, okay. Alright, babe. I thought she was asleep. <laughs> baby, you know what? Did that? I guess. I did not say that. All right, I'll call you though. Yo, why he just hang up on me without saying, don't hang up on me without saying bye. But I guess. All right, y'all, so I don't really have to cut my edges like that. And I bet, I'm gonna bring my scissors because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna trim a little bit off. But um, my friends, let me join the FaceTime because they are in FaceTime call right now. But I'm about to, I'm gonna braid my hair up so it can have some type of curl to it. But it's definitely eating, y'all. What do y'all think? And it didn't even take me... It took me the same amount of time that it always takes me to do my hair. Like, it didn't even take more time to put more braids. And I think it's because I wasn't, like, spending a lot of time partying. So, yeah. Like, this is eating. And then I had so much time. I had so much free time because my daughter is with my mom. And they actually come back tomorrow, which sucks. Because I they come back right after I leave. Like, they'll be here like a couple hours after I leave. Let me fix my sideburns, y'all. I forgot that I do lay my sideburns just a little bit. It's a lot of hair over there. So, I'll, like, lay it down. Yeah, because I don't like my long sideburns. So, I will just, like, lay it. And I will cut this. I definitely cut my sideburns. Now, that's one thing I do cut. Like, when y'all be having y'all sideburns all the way down, like, here, I will never understand. Because I can't do that, y'all. And a lot of times...
Let me get, I'm gonna get in my FaceTime call because they are waiting on me. What y'all doing? Hey, stranger. Stranger danger. You in the bathroom too? Girl, no. You, I'm not you, baby. Um, I was actually saying that because Tom is in the bathroom. What are you doing here? No. Nah. What you doing, Karma? What you doing, Marisha? Uh, sitting in the car. You what? Yeah, I'm fixing my. I'm just cutting my sideburns right now because they look long. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm finishing packing. Okay. Yes, I am. I should go to Target real quick, shit though. Yeah. I can't wait to get I in that Camry. Go. Get in that Camry. <laughs> Back seat with my seatbelt on. Hey, I did my hair different. I don't know. It's yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's cute. Well, you can't see it. It's always pretty. Oh, oh, hold on, you can't even see it. I gotta pan back because I usually I got a lot more braids in there, so it's like oh, I like that. It's cute. Whole bunch of braids, so it's like I usually like braid it up though, so it can have like a wave to it. But yeah, I did it on Monday. I don't like my hair when it's fresh. So this is how I look when it's... I know. I was waiting on you to say Yes. That. Like, this is how I look when the humidity kind of hit it. It get, like, fluffy. It start moving a little bit, you know? Yeah, because when it first made me thin as hell. Oh, my God. I kept wetting mine. <laughs> like, I don't like this. What did you do? Wait, what you going to do to your hair, though? I'm not going to do it right now. Me, but be. Oh, my God. I can't wait to hang this phone up. I am about to hang up this phone. She's over here singing Jojo Siwa. <laughs> Do you know that song, Marisha? No. Karma. <laughs> you know the only reason I know that is because it's this. What is that dude name? He be doing like videos. If my shit gotta be on because I live in a forest preserve, so if it's not on, it's no signal whatsoever. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I'm trying to wait for this Mexican man to come back. I was going to film a little bit more, but I ain't ready to end this vlog and start another one. And also, y'all, it is 9.35. I am tired. I worked a full shift today. And I never move my clothes. They're still on the bed. I need to wake up by at least 2 o'clock to make it to where I need to be on time. So I got food on the way. I got Chipotle on the way. So I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to take a nap until like I would say I'm going to get up at 1. So I'm going to get 10, 11, 12. I'm going to get about 3 hours of sleep because I need some type of sleep. Because I need to just put everything in a suitcase. And then at that point, you know, I'll just be going to the airport. I got to feed the dog and take them out to use the bathroom before I leave but y'all I'm so tired I don't want to do nothing I did everything I needed to do I just need to put it in the suitcase I already know what I'm wearing to the airport I just need to pack all my stuff up and then not leave nothing but I am beat y'all I worked today so y'all know I woke up at 5 a.m so I'm tired <laughs> So if you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching. I know it's not the best vlog. It's kind of all over the place. But please make sure to like comment, and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I even look tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired. Ooh.